It has been only four months since I brought the young Rainbow Dash into my home. I have done what little research I could on the matter, but I have come to no conclusions. I have no idea why she is here. And quite frankly, I don't even care anymore. These few months with her have been the most amazing time of my life. She has opened my heart up to love and joy, among other things. Right now she sits next to me on the couch as I watch television. She seems to enjoy the morning cartoons on the local stations. And I myself have come to enjoy them. She acts much like a young child would. Then again, why wouldn't she? Another amazing feat is she has been learning to talk. I'm not much of a teacher, or for that matter, a parent, but I am doing my best to help her learn to speak and read. I don't know how or even where to begin to attempt in teaching her to write. From the show, they did it with their mouths. But I will let that go for now. Once she is a little older, if I even have her that long, I will do what I can to teach her. It used to be that the year would go by slowly. I would look forward to the new year in hopes of getting a fresh start. Now though, I feel as if this year went by a little too quickly for me. I have decided, since I have no knowledge of her actual birth date, to make the day I found her her birthday. September the 17th. Oddly enough, that's the very same date that the second season of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, aired last year. I quit watching the show after Dashi came into my life. There was no reason for me to continue. And honestly, I don't have much time to myself anymore. It would be hard to hide me watching the show and even harder to explain the situation if she were to ever see it especially at the current age. She knew her name was Rainbow Dash, but I have come to calling her Pinky's pet name of Dashy, And she has no problem with it. She can fully communicate with me now, as well as read English. And she's even starting to learn how to write with, you guessed it, her mouth. I tried to invent some devices for her hoof so she could write, but it seems writing with her mouth is more natural than moving her hoof around. One thing now troubles me with her. Every day she sits at the window looking outside. I am not worried about her being seen by passerbys. I'm on a dead end street, so that's the least of my worries. Still though, she doesn't say anything to me yet. I can see the hunger for fresh air in her eyes. I can't keep her in here my entire life. <laughs> I keep talking like she's going to be here forever. That isn't true. One day, someday, she return home. Whether it'll be a simple poof and she's gone, or for some magical spell and twilight shows up and takes her home to fix everything. In my heart, I hope that never happens. In my head. I know it will. It's just a matter of when. I do hope to get her outside soon. I've been checking out some of the abandoned lots in former parks on my walks to and from work, seeing where the best location would be to take her. Oddly enough, it seems the park I had played at growing up is the best option. That shall be it then. I shall take her to the park. However, how will I get her there? She's still relatively small, so she can be hidden inside a jacket or something. Tomorrow is supposed to be a nice day anyway. She did it! After two years in my care, and having absolutely no knowledge of flight myself, I helped her learn to fly. She's gotten quite big in only a couple years, and it was getting hard to hide her when we walked in the park. I got so desperate to keep her hidden. I bought a dog costume for her to put on so she could walk there unnoticed. She was not happy. So I got some books from the library and read up on teaching birds to fly. I would have looked on the internet, but I fear she would become curious of it herself. There are a lot of horrors on the internet, and she's not ready for it. In hindsight, it's bad enough she is experiencing television. 
but she has come to enjoy Spongebob and ask her too much for me to take that away from her. Back to the flying. I have been taking her to that old park for weeks in hopes I could help her learn how to fly. There is a large tree there, with branches sticking out over a sandbox. The perfect spot for her to practice. If she falls and I can catch her, at least she'll have something remotely soft to land on. She fell a lot. I knew she would fall a lot. There were many scrapes, cuts and bruises towards her goal. But finally, after many weeks of work, she flew. It was only a short distance, about 50 feet. But she still did it. She's a little scraped up, but she's beaming with pride. Maybe now she could fly overhead, so that a few people on the ground don't notice her. I'll have to see if she can manipulate Clouch like she could in the show. It would make it much easier to take her places. Then she can hide on a cloud as we go to the park. Another thing that has been brought to my attention. She asked me about having her own room. I got thinking and realized the house does have a spare ba bedroom, though my parents had filled it with my old school stuff from her younger years, as well as several of my old toys. She might enjoy them, though she is getting older. I'm not sure how entertaining they will be for her. If she has her own room, I can get her her own things, so then she can feel somewhat normal. She's pretty smart for a filly, and knows about the difference between our species. But she still knows nothing about her origin. She's not ready yet. The only thing I can do is keep her happy. I only wish I had a way to buy her the things she wants. If you told me four years ago I'd be taking care of a cartoon, rainbow-colored pony, I'd call you insane. <laughs> I probably am in all reality, but I don't care. I'm happy. She's happy. Today is a day for celebration, for today my little dashie got her cutie mark. I honestly didn't know how to tackle that fact. She didn't even know what it was until I explained it to her. Now she's even more ecstatic than before. It was a normal park outing, but this time she decided she wanted to see how high she could get. I had limited her to how high she could fly, but honestly, I can't do anything about what she does up there. I can't fly, so the most I could do is tell her to be careful. Somewhere she got in her head to see how fast she could fly, probably due to her being a NASCAR and, well, a general racing fan. For some time she was trying to make up tricks and stunts of her own, giving them names. I'd just sit on a bench I had fixed up and cheer her on. No one was ever around anymore. In fact, on that block, I think the last person left over a year ago. There are rumors the entire area is going to be bought out by some company, however, and all this turned into a large manufacturing area. I don't know how I feel about that, but it's not important now. Right now, I'm so overcome with joy that my dashi now knows her place. Granted, this isn't her world. She is still the same Rainbow Dash from the show. Regardless of how I raised her, she has the same spunk and attitude from the show. And now, she has her cutie mark. Anyway, she climbed to quite a height in an attempt to gain speed from a fall. Well, all the right things factored for her, how she positioned herself, her mental focus and possibly me on the ground watching and cheering her on. But she did it. She broke the sound barrier and created a sonic rainboom overhead. Now I didn't even imagine it was possible to accomplish such a feat in my world. I knew you could break the sound barrier, but actually do the rainbow part too? My mind is blown. So the initial explosion brought upon many broken windows and set of car alarms in the next county. I quickly rounded her up and we rushed home before anyone could arrive at the park. I was lucky none of my windows were broken. The rest of the day was spent celebrating. It just so happened today was her fourth birthday. I have no way of knowing how old she actually was when I got her, so I just started over. I would have bought a cake, but due to the boom, all the business were closed and needed new windows. So we made a cake on our own. 
Apparently, the fanfiction writers got it right. She can't bake. At all. Granted, I am not the best myself, but it was still a mess. But we had fun, she enjoyed herself, and she is happy. Therefore, I am happy. Though that was her highlight of the day, mine was just moments ago. She has now come accustomed to sleeping in her own room versus with me out on the couch. I actually stopped sleeping in my room, and kept her company in the living room until recently. Now I can sleep on my own bed once more. But I keep my door unlocked, so if she needs me she can get me. I had just tucked her into bed and told her goodnight when she said it. Good night, Daddy. I love you. I haven't been on the internet in... What? Three years now? I don't know how the My Little Pony thing online is doing. Or what memes are still alive or not. But damn it all, I'm gonna say it cause it's true. My heart exploded twice. For the first time, not only did she call me daddy, which she has done on occasion, but she even said, I love you. For a moment, I didn't know what to say or to, what to do. I have never been in this sort of situation before. But I remembered what my mother and father used to. So I leaned down and kissed her on the forehead and told her the same thing. Good night, my little dashi. I love you too. She smiled at me and closed her eyes to sleep. I walked out, turned off her light, making sure her Spongebob nightlight was on, of course, closed her door, then sat down on the couch. I haven't moved for an hour now. I'm so lost in thought. The few times she had called me daddy, I didn't think anything of it. I could picture why she called me that. Being with her so much made me accept it as part of taking care of her. But tonight, when she said those three words... The realization finally sunk into my heart. I am her daddy. She considers me her daddy. And quite frankly, I consider her my daughter. Even though we are of a totally different species, I still love her with all my heart. And it has taken her to speak those words to me for me to finally realize that. I think I have finally done it. I have broken my heart shell that had formed when my parents died. I have let a sweet little filly into my life. I gave her a home to live in, food to eat, and now a daddy to love. She has given me hope, love, compassion, and now something I thought I'd never utter, a daughter. I still speculate when the time is going to arise that she goes back to Equestria. And each day it gets harder for me to imagine when that actually happens. I just hope that she never forgets me because I will never forget her. I believe that she is now at her full size. Rounding in at about three feet tall, she is fully grown. Though she is still only ten years old, according to my math, I believe she is actually more along the lines of 14 or 15 possibly in actual years. So we celebrated five missed birthdays and officially moving day. That's right, moving day. We moved from my parents' house, thanks to me finally saving up enough money, plus getting lucky at the casino. We bought a nice house a hundred miles away from the city. It has got a lot of open land. There isn't another house within five miles. It's just me and her. Now she can fly around all she wants, whenever she wants. She is truly happy, though she does not miss the old park. It's gone now, along with anything else left in the area. A large business bought all the land up, flattened it, and built a large factory there. It was an amazing boom to the economy, and people are starting to build homes again. I'm glad, but... It just wasn't for us. That amount of people would hinder her going outside, and I'm not going to force her to stay inside all day unless it's raining out. I have gotten a new job, one that pays much more than my old one. Dashi even talked about getting a job, but then she remembered what I told her. The look on her face was heartbreaking. 
we were enjoying a cake we made, which, I must add, we have improved upon that skill when she brought it up. I chokingly said she can't due to her being a pony, and I laughed. She remained silently. My God, I'm horrible. I, I just laughed because my daughter is different. I apologized for hours, and even though she says she understands, I know she is still hurt. Lucky I have a way to fix this. Due to the sheer size of the property, it in involves a lot of cutting of grass. Tomorrow I will modify a lawnmower for her to use, so that she can have a job. I'll even pay her so that she can buy her own stuff if she wants. Though I'd have to get it for her, see, she still can actually say she worked for something. According to the show, she was a weather pony. And I don't have her mess with Mother Nature, unless it's a dire emergency. So there isn't really any job to be had here. I still can't believe I've had her for ten years now. My god, time goes so fast. I wish it could slow down, so that I could have more time with her. I don't know when, but I have the sudden feeling our time together is running out. All of this had been too good to be true.